What's up everybody, my name is Jeremy Jones and I am back with another video. Today, I'm talking my weekly sneaker rotation, so stay tuned. All right, man, I'm back with another video. Now, before I get too deep into this video, y'all already know what to do. Go and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I make content about sneakers. All right, so let's dive into today's video. Just like I said in the intro, man, we're back with another weekly sneaker rotation. Now, this should be week 95 to the best of my knowledge. And if I'm wrong, feel free to credit the kid down in the comment section. Now, y'all already know, I started this series off at the beginning of 2023. And here we are. We're on week 95, right? Okay. I almost can't believe it myself. We're almost knocking on the door at 100, right? Okay. Now, if you want to get a sneak peek of what I'm wearing throughout the week, sign up for that sold out Discord. The link is pinned at the top of the chat and it is free to sign up where you know i continue the sneaker talk we got a music section a sports section um even a birthday section over there and then of course you'll see the announcement of my videos just in case for the people who are subscribed to the channel that don't get always get the notifications usually they should be going off in the discord over there so um oh, enough little rambling right quick so we're gonna go ahead and just dive right into this weekly sneaker rotation now um Y'all know I end things off on a Friday, then pick right back up on Saturday. But ironically, I finally got a moment to myself, so you know what that means pretty much. This should be a quick weekly sneaker rotation, hopefully. Um, so pretty much uh, on Saturday and Sunday, pretty much the kid was at the crib. If anything, I may have went to like the convenience store and back, but I stayed pretty much in my old faithfuls, which is my beaters at this point, and you guys should already know if you're not new to the channel. The Yeezy Slide Pures. Super duper comfortable, and yes, they could use a cleaning, but I got other Yeezy Slides that, to be honest, I probably should go ahead and just let some of them go. But at the same time, I know what it is. By the time I do that, these are probably gonna finally just, you know, the rubber's gonna run its course, and then it's gonna be time to get a fresh pair, which I still should be good. But neither here nor there, man. Yeezy Slide Pure, and this, I will say, was my first ever like Yeezy Slide I bought, I wanna say back in 2021. I actually paid resale for that, and then the following year, you know, Yeezy kinda like, let's just say he did what he did, and then all the Yeezy shoes just kinda readily came available, with the exception of a few, or the prices pretty much tanked on the resale market, where if you put enough footwork, you can get a pair. But anyway, I will say this is arguably one of the most comfortable pairs of shoes that I've owned. Um, I love these as like a good house shoe or just a quick convenience store run shoe. You guys should know that. So this was my Saturday and Sunday shoe was a Yeezy Slide Pure. Cool, now we're gonna move right along on to Monday to care right back at the work. Y'all know I work a full time job and I actually do like what I do. But anyway, right back at the work, the kids stepped in none other than the Air Jordan 3 and these are the True Blues. Now I've had these for quite some time and they could probably use a cleaning as well. But you see Nike check on the back of the joint. I really am a sucker for when the shoe actually has a Nike check on these. Now I remember when these joints actually dropped when I went to the mall, they was like first come first serve. And I think it was like, three of us in line including myself so it was like me and like two other people and they were surprised to see us there now production date on this was 2016 so pretty much it had to be 2016 when i caught these guys now there is like a jordan hang tag on this joint but i stopped really wearing it because not that i don't like that and i know some people it's like a love slash hate i actually like it but i notice when i wear it with my shoes they tend to like fall off so i really want to keep up with them so that's just my thing now y'all know my favorite color is red now the one thing i like about this shoe it has a mixture of red obviously in there and it has a mixture of blue so there's a lot of fits that i can really actually get off with these guys right here and i don't regret my purchase and as you can see um with that toe box creasing like that i definitely feel like i've gotten my money's worth so i can't complain but this was my monday shoe was the air jordan 3 true blue Cool, now we're gonna move right along on to Tuesday. I carry it right back at the work. Y'all pretty much already know how this goes, man. I work Monday through Friday, nonstop, and I'm dropping content around the clock as well. 
bars, right? Anyway, Tuesday, the kids stepped in, none other than the Air Jordan 1, and these are the Spider-Man joints, not the second ones, but the first version right now. Hopefully, the camera's gonna do this some type of justice, and you guys can see the 3M of, like, the little Spidey dots on these guys. Now, I did have to come off the hip with the chips, but I actually bought these right before the second shoe actually dropped, and that one actually took off. Now, um, I don't think the bottom of these actually glow in the dark now, though I do think the second pair it does, but the 3M is good enough for me, and I think it was Manny with the kicks, and I believe it was Kwame who motivated me to actually put blue shoestring laces in the shoe. Um, I may actually switch it back to red or do black or actually put the ones that came with it, but it was nice for the time being, and I don't regret it, and I think it still does hit, because if you think about it, that blue on the tongue here is where we're pretty much coordinated with, so I feel like it still technically works, right, okay? It just depends, just depends if I actually feel like late relacing the shoe. Cause one thing that I like, I would say is like a love slash hate with me with Jordan ones. They don't come late, so you have to lace your Jordan ones. Actually, I got some pairs I need to lace right now. But other than that, this was my Tuesday shoe. Was the Air Jordan One Spider Man's. Cool, now we're gonna move right on onto Wednesday, a shoe that I feel like honestly it's my favorite shoe in my collection, but. I haven't really worn them, and I want to say in gears, and I really came off the hip with the chips, and I really went through like a hard time of like actually getting the shoe, negotiating with the joint, and finally found the right one. But anyway, you guys are probably gonna be surprised I put this in rotation, but at the end of the day, wear your sneakers or they will fall apart. So Wednesday, kid stepped in none other than the Air Jordan 4, my favorite silhouette probably of all time, and these are the cause fours, right, okay? This is a shoe that kind of really kind of broke my channel, if you really want to think about it, whenever I got scammed the first time, and I'm not going to say which company, which they've gotten better over time, debatable, right? But anyway, I finally got these joints back in the collection. Now, these do glow in the dark, and if I'm not mistaken, these actually do have like 3M on these guys right here. So, arguably one of my favorites in my collection now, the back on these joints. Now, you can just see the quality on this one. You can just tell. Um, ironically, what made me wear this, the weather was just finally like straight this week where I really am like, as what I went through to get this shoe, I'm afraid to get it wet, so I'm always trying to make sure the weather is clear. Granted, I probably should have broke them out in the summertime a long time ago. I think last time I wore these guys was back in like 2022, but don't quote me on that. But yeah, man, this is a shoe that I actually really love. Fours is one of those I could arguably debate easily one of the best silhouettes of all time. But again, that's just if you're one of debating it. But anyway, this was my Wednesday shoe was the Air Jordan 4 Cause. Cool. I'm gonna move right along on to Thursday to kill right back at the work. Again, I kind of broke in the like shoe range of the shoes that I haven't worn in quite some time. This is another shoe where I like it, but for some strange reason, I just don't wear it enough. So anyway, Thursday, right back at the work. The kid stepped in none other than the Air Jordan 6. And these are the DMP, which is defining the moments is what that stands for to the best of my knowledge. Of course, Jumpman logo on the back, but that 23 on the back. Now, the reason why I got this shoe, a lot of you people should probably already know this, unless you're new to the channel, of course, one of the other colors that I'm a real major sucker for, I don't know why, which I can probably go down a rabbit hole of as to why I'm a sucker for the color gold and Pretty much this shoe right here is, I wanna say like, I was a big fan of just gold. Y'all know my chains are gold when I got them on, but anyway, this was my Thursday shoe. Um, a shoe that I don't wear enough, and it's actually very versatile, man, but I feel like this is a great time. This is why I love fall, um, because really, I don't feel like there's any colorway you can't really get away with in fall, right? Okay, now I know there's an exception to every rule and I could probably contradict myself if you go back and watch some of my older videos, but yeah, this was my Thursday shoe, man, and honestly, sixes I feel like don't get enough love, and ironically, if I'm not mistaken, Jordan actually won his first ring in the infrared sixes, but even those don't get that type of love. Now, the only thing I wish they would've did was a Nike check on the back of these guys, but you know, there's nothing wrong if the shoe doesn't have the Nike check, but at the end of the day it's all black and can you really go wrong with it now i do do that lace lock at the toe box joint so that's kind of just like a me thing or kind of like honestly something we used to do back in the day that a lot of people really don't do anymore but this was my thursday shoe was the air Jordan 6 dmp Cool, now we're gonna move right along on to Friday. Pretty much this was a quick one, guys. Another shoe that I don't wear enough, but sentimental values, and I will say, if you're gonna aim for comfortability, this is a shoe you wanna choose for, right? So pretty much Friday, kid right back at the work, and I stepped in none other than the Air Jordan 13s, and these are the playoffs, right, okay? I wanna say, 
I'm not gonna say this was my first Jordan ever, but I do remember that my parents actually bought me this shoe way, way back in the day, and I took care of that mug like a boss, and I'm still taking care of my shoes to this day, but I feel like this is a very versatile shoe, a super duper comfortable shoe at that. I mean, it's all black. Can you really go wrong with it? I'ma say no, right? And um, arguably one of my favorites in my collection, and I know that it's kind of high on the ankle, and I know shoes like this, if you really put in the footwork, you could probably find a good deal, and or when they drop, if you just want them, you can get them. So, I mean, it's kind of one of those, it's a shoe where if you're looking to add something to the collection that's versatile, that this is my thing, and a lot of us can say this, if you buy nothing but heat, sometimes it's a gift and a curse. If you buy all straight heat, sometimes it makes you not want to wear the stuff and that's all you got. There's nothing wrong with having it. I'm not saying this shoe is a beater, but there's nothing wrong with just having some daily wears, man. You know what I'm saying? This could be a nice little daily wear shoe, very versatile and pretty much will go with a lot of fits if you ask the kid. But this was my Friday shoe. Was it Air Jordan 13 playoffs? Cool, man. So that pretty much completes this weekly sneaker rotation for this week. Y'all sign off in the comment section and let me know what you wore throughout the week as well. Y'all know I look forward to reading the comment section. I do my very, very best to try to respond to each and every one of y'all. Other than that, man, I'm going to go ahead and get up out of this thing and stop rambling, man. Y'all be sure to hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you know, consider subscribing. I made content about sneakers. Again, my name is Jeremy Jones, and thank you for watching and I'm out. I figured out.